All right, uh, the old XE. Like I said on the last video, this one was going to be just stripping the interior, which I've done. Um, so just to do a massive rust inspection to see what is ahead of me. Um, so I am wrapped. There no issues. I'm, um, so I've uh, no, no holes, uh, no problems, no nothing. Small little issue up the back, but that's just a little bit of TIG weld. That'll fix that up in five minutes. Um, so anyway, I'll just go through. So passenger well, very good. Um, she's come up really good. Um, I've dug up some of the holes, dug into there, went around the corners. She's all good. Normal spots around where the little um, infills are, they're uh, all good. Um, so the rest was just very, very light surface. Um, so no dramas there. Um, <clears throat> and all the normal where the seat mounts go to, there often is going to be surface just purely from watering water um, and moisture coming up. So again, no dramas, it's just very surface surface um, issues. So again, no dramas through there. That's just the surface, I've done this full inspection, I've dug, dug into it. Here again, surface, surface, surface. So it's all good. Um, so that's just where the other seat belt, that's just dirt. Um, so it's all just surface stuff, just from moisture. Uh, no no water ingress, that's obvious anyway. So it's, it's looking good, looking really good. Um, I'll go around the other side real quick. <clears throat> so yeah, through here, it's all good. Again, where the seat belts are, the seat uh, belts and the seat mount goes. Um, there's often just that moisture. So again, that's just surface. I dug, I dug that in, grinded it back. There's no drama. It's full metal through there. Um, so it's it's very good. I'm very very pleased with that. Through here, there's a little bit of pitting through here, but it's still full metal thickness. Uh, and the only issue I found was right here. So you can see we're on in that um, <coughs> ridge. She started obviously getting a little bit of corrosion through. So there's a little pinhole there and another pinhole right there. So I'll um, grind them back and do a quick TIG through those. Um, so that won't be a drama at all. Um, nothing, nothing at all, five minute job. So the interior came out really easy. Uh, no problems with the seats. Um, sometimes when people pull these out, I think I mentioned in the other videos that the bottom seat mounting holes will, will get um, will get those bolts will be bent just from wear and tear. So this is the area I thought that was going to be trash. Now I knew that um, the plenium chamber was good. No, you can't see it. But there's no holes in the plenium chamber other than where they obviously should be for drainage. So that is offers normally a really good sign. So if you've got no holes in there, your, your foot well is generally pretty good. Um, in my other car, yep, she had some holes in the plenium and uh, yeah, it, it needed some foot well repair. So yep, again, that just shows a good sign that um, when those drain holes work well, they stop that rust in the floor, foot well. So I've dug this one fairly well, knowing that there's often um, risk of foot wells of being wrecked on these things, but this is solid, 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 all the way through. So um, <clears throat> no dramas, no dramas at all. So it's, um, I'm wrapped, I'm absolutely over the moon. So that's obviously where the normal um, bucket, bucket seat setups go, um, but we don't need that here. She's a wall bench. So, again, through there, that's all just surface. So, again, so very happy with that. Um, so, my pile of, pile of um, stuff, all there, the, the rubber's good. Um, so, you can see the resemblance of them. Uh, they're the little infills. That's just, again, moisture, moisture, moisture. No, no actual metal rust. That's just the moisture going on to those things. So they get replaced anyway when you do these sort of jobs. You cut the interior. These are easily available off eBay, whatever. Um, so you get <coughs> new, new rubbers and all that sort of stuff, get them. So the old seat base, she's a bit rusty. Um, so, so, yeah, she's a bit rusty, the old seat base. Um, but it's solid, which is good. Um, it's solid. Oh, so that's just a matter of pulling the paint off um, and giving it a good clean. Now I've got new seat rails for this thing coming. So the seat rails, um, 
Jeez, it's a bit dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Anyway, so I've got seat rails through there. Um, so they're, they're coming. That's part of the load that should be here tomorrow, actually. Coming up from Sydney. My old mate, interior man from Sydney. So, so I'll have all my new interior here on, on uh, hopefully tomorrow. So I'll show you through that video when I get that stuff tomorrow. So, anyway, the other job I had to do today was the brake booster out because I've got to drop that off to the shop tomorrow. Um, but so I'm changing it to disc brake uh, rear. And one of my little rules are uh, that um, in that you know, like critical safety stuff, I'm I'm not I'm not going to do myself. So I'm more than capable of doing it. But it's just a little rule I've made for this project. So uh, the booster came off, just two bolts. Oh, well, three, three, three bolts. One, two, three. Um, so that's just got a little clip through it like that. You just pull the clip out, um, three bolts underneath. So you line your back in the de underneath. Um, obviously, it's a lot easier with the seat out. It would be a prick of a job with the seat in. Um, but you can do it if you kneel kneel on the outside and gets a little bit of height on the car, raise it up a little bit, you'll be right. Um, it's just the awkward angles and stuff. So that's the setup I used. Um, so yeah, just, I don't know what size, yeah, whatever, you can work out sizes. I'm not gonna do that in this sort of video. So just basically a double extension, a uh, little flex in the middle and uh, impact drill. Um, so just some people for some little heads up. If you're doing, if you, these actually work pretty well for getting rid of this um, rubbery um, noise insulation stuff. So it, instead of getting a screwdriver and going bang, 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 these actually, if you come in on the edge and go, and it'll just bang, 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 break it off. So it does save you a fair bit of time, um, which is good. So anyway, I'm just, anyway, back to the booster. Like I said, I'm very happy that, um, that this uh, that I've got no rust in that thing, so, which is awesome. So booster wise, so I just pulled the booster out. Why is it so dark? So anyway, there's three three um, three lines that are easy to pull out, plus your little um, your fail switch. I can't remember what they're called. Um, some some reason is there some sort of fail stop or something a fail open I don't know I can't remember but there's heaps on eBay YouTube about it so anyway so three of these come off undo the switch there's the uh, little um, air uh, vacuum line that comes through um, and then it just pulls out it's a straightforward job so so obviously if you're gonna pull an engines and all that make sure you label everything um, and make sure you, if you've got brake lines, vacuum lines, whatever, just chuck a little bit of tape over the end of them to stop them getting full of crap, depending on how long you're gonna leave the everything apart for. So this crossy will be coming out and it'll probably never go back in, but it will go with the car um, when the time comes, um, which probably won't be for a while. I'm gonna enjoy it first. So yeah, anyway, so the, that's the booster set up there. Um, so this was an 84 model XE, late 84. So you'll see there's a small difference with the um, uh, master cylinder reservoir. So the normal ones are just a clip on, they're, they're just clipped straight on. They actually push on, the rubber goes on. And the later models which move from XE to XF uh, went to the clip arrangement. Um, so it's whatever PBR had at the time. Um, these are sometimes you can get these rusted out. Uh, I got lucky on this one again. See, she's in great nick. Um, but if you compare it to the wagon, the wagon one's utterly destroyed. But the, so is the rest of the bloody thing. Um, I can't get in there. It's not set up at the moment. But anyway, that that that's wrecked. The, the, a lot of rust. So it's a bit of a luck of the draw. Like, um, so anyway, I'll get all that serviced and she'll be looking good. Righto, so yeah, I'll do a, another little video tomorrow um, when I get to the next job. So when I get all my parts up, hopefully they get here tomorrow. Girl, they better. Um, so as I said, I'm out of here for, for a few weeks. Um, so, no worries. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.